this was actually a surprisingly easy fix. All I did was I have to lubricate this floppy drive, and it works now on this old Macintosh. So I've been restoring this old Macintosh from 1984 for a friend. It's the original 128 kilobyte Macintosh, and I think he bought it new. I think he's the only owner of it. Well, I've fixed a couple things. I've whitened the plastic. The main thing left to do is to lubricate the floppy drive. This floppy drive has issues of autoloading, most likely due to the grease drying up. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the floppy drive, take out the old grease, and then put some new grease. And I think this silicon lubricant should work fine. So I think there's just four screws holding it on. So that should be pretty easy, actually. Oh, no. That one's way up in there. Weird. Well, I can't reach that screw in there very easily. So there must be a different way of doing this. Looks like this entire tray comes out by four screws. So... We should remove this, I guess. Man, this is... I'd like to not have to take it apart this far, that's for sure. It looks like it moves up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. So it's not hard at all. There's two cables. There's that one. And there's that one. Look at that. That is the motherboard of the Macintosh. So wonderful. That was actually really simple. I, I don't know if I've taken this thing out. It looks like the CPU. That's pretty cool. That's the floppy connector. A video connector, it looks like. Macintosh. That's a nice font. That's actually a really nice font. I like that. I guess they stopped using that. There's two buttons for, I think, for reset and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Look at that. Even the chips have the Apple logo on them. I guess by this time they had tons of money and probably even some chip factories that could make stuff for them. Does that make sense? Scilog. I've never seen anything other than a CPU made with Zilog, so... I mean, surely the big thing would be the CPU, right? I don't know. Oh, well. That's pretty cool. Wow, I just realized. Evidently before, I didn't know you could take that motherboard off. Because I had a hell of a time trying to get a screwdriver in through here to undo these two screws to take this whole mechanism off. If only I would have known the motherboard comes out. In other words, if only I would have thought harder. Oh well. Maybe working on a Macintosh is less simpler than I thought. Oh, funky. I wonder if that date code, I, I, I don't actually remember when the Macintosh came out. Maybe April was actually pretty early. So, looks like this is the pad where if you stick a pin in, that'll eject it. So it's like the main eject. Look at that. Boop. Wonderful. You know, I only see it as this part being the thing that, that moves, at least in this area. And... Yeah, there's really no lubricant on there. Oh yeah, and it's hard. I 
am not going to take this apart though anymore. At least not too much more because I just these are one of those things that I'll take it apart and I'll never go back together again. And you know what? I'm just going to be a little bit crazy and see if maybe I can just stick a little bit in there. Like I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it on here first. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> oh well. This probably won't hurt anything though. It's just silicone based. Oh, I got my hand shaking. Oh, there we go. It smells very good though. It smells very, very good. It looks like that's actually rehydrating that grease. That grease is kind of mushy. Well, that's interesting. Check that out. This seems really like it looks a little bit better now. Oh, look at that! It it actually moves back and forth now. Because before I could I couldn't move it. Nice. Maybe that did help. Seems a bit more lively, you know, or loose. Maybe I should add just a teeny bit more of grease. Looks like this stuff does a pretty good job of getting in the cracks, so that's pretty good. Let's see if there's anything on the other side that moves. And there's none getting on the floppy disk, so that's good. Oh wait, so this is actually, oh, I was thinking this was powered. It's just that it was gummed up. So this does go all the way down. Fascinating. And I like this mechanism. Uh, somehow it, it determines if the floppy's already been in there. So it basically has one bit of memory. So you pop it open, and you, if you push it in again, it won't go back down. Pull it out, then push it in, then it'll go down. There's a little bit of memory, so it's like you don't just accidentally push it back in. You have to pull it out and then push it in. Push it in there, yeah, whatever. Nice. I am very happy with that. Very, very happy indeed. That might be it. Let's just put it back together and test it out. That's surprisingly simple. I'm pretty happy about that. Just realized I can finally use one of my new tools. Perfect. Those are the first screws I've ever tightened with that thing. This thing's awesome. Man, that is so nice. They work perfectly. I am happy with this. I did not realize it was that simple. I wonder if I can eject the disc. Oh, eject. Oh, 
Look at that. Wonderful. I am happy. I'm very happy with this. Oh, but I'm not happy that I forgot this piece. I'll take this thing back apart, and I'll put that thing back in. I believe that now this is actually in a presentable state. I'm gonna see about wrapping it up. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna put all the new, all, put all the parts back together, and once I get that done, I'll g give it back to my friend, and I hope he likes it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!